everyone. Welcome back to Eterna City. Uh, just a quick word, first of all. If you hear a lot of bikes going past in the background, it's TT week on the Isle of Man. There's a lot of bike racing going on. And I live right beside the course, so it can be quite loud. We should be coming to the end of the races though at this time, so we may get lucky. Uh, we're on route... Well, we're in Eterna City, just past Route 205. Um, between logging off last time and starting up again, I did a little bit of grinding with some of the Pokemon. I uh, got Mamrex up a few levels after we lost Prunstall. So let's update that board. Uh, I also had a little wander round up here and was introduced to the person who gives me cut. So a couple of my guys know that. So we're going to head back onto Route 205 and we're going to have some fights. I reckon. Let's see, grass is good against water. So. Axrox also good. But I want to build up to get a couple more levels. Do you guys fight? Yes, you do. Goldeen! I like Goldine. Level 14. Mega Drain! The grass is good against water, isn't it? It's not the other way around. We're about to find out. Eh, <laughs> grass is good against water. Why would you even worry about that? Fire's already weak against you. Ugh. I just don't know with some people these days. Yay! Nice bit of experience there. I don't have a fishing rod. I've got a full team and I've got three guys in the bank, so I might not actually catch anything on Route 205. Whoa! Six Pokemon. Oh. Okay. Magikarp. Um, yeah, I might not catch anything here and leave Route 205 open should I need to come back here in the future and fish for something. Or I might just get something now. Because knowing my luck, the first thing I'll fish is a Magikarp. Yay! I just feel bad for Magikarp. Well, I don't feel bad for Magikarp at all. Is this how this fight's going? Has this guy got six Magikarp? Carp. Carp. Really not getting anything for these. Oh my word, he really does have six magic carp. He does. He's got six of them. I wonder if Absorb will even knock it out. Probably won't. Not enough level difference, I don't think. Save me wasting PP. Oh my god, it does. Excellent. Okay, so I don't need to waste me Mega Drain. Getting embarrassing, actually. To continue with the baseball analogies from earlier, it's like being, it's like someone's just throwing out batting practice fastballs at you. And right down the middle, they're slow, you knock them straight out of the park. There's no challenge going on here.
wonder if I came back later on and challenged this guy again, would he have a guy reduce in there somewhere? All right, come on, six for six, let's go. <laughs> what is actually the point of having a team of six Magikarps? I'm not even gonna get a level out of this because they're so weak. Yeah, he should have been a little bit more serious and not put in six freaking Magikarps. Right, what do you got to say for yourself? You fished up some tough Pokemon, are they Magikarps? Because if they're Magikarps, we're going to have words. Ugh. Ah, at least we should finally get a level out of this. Almost. Ooh, hello. This is new. But you're weak. You are weak. I don't even have anything funny to say anymore because just facing six Magikarp in a row takes all the humor out of the situation. Ah, Bellamp, I know you've got some pretty poor defense, but I didn't expect that bad. Could you just fire Pokemon? I don't have any of those. That's more like the experience I want from a fight. Oh, God. Yeah, it continues. Carp. <sighs> well, at least he's back up to full health. What do we think? Do we, oh, hello berries. Cherry berries. Pika berries. P Pika? Picha. Pesha. They're peaches. They're oranges. Except they're blue. Now, in all the games that have berries in them, I never, ever put the berries back. Okay. Who gets to go up front? Yeah, you know a little bit about stuff and things. You go in you go in the front. Let's let's get ourselves a Pokemon from here. Come on. There we go. Ah, it's a Bidoof. It doesn't count. Duplicate Claws. Is it even worth fighting? I don't even think it is worth fighting. Bidoof. Oh, word. It's going to be one of those days. even what there is on this route. A weasel. It's 
spark it. Hey. I'm looking up a little list of what's in here, actually. There's not a huge amount. I'm, go I'm going to be fighting a lot of Bidoofs and Weasels. I have a small chance at night to get a hoot hoot. No chance to get a wormple. Hardly any chance to get a butterfly. Okay. Let's just carry on. I see some footage being cut. <laughs> Let's, uh, we'll come back once I've caught something. Alright, I've been running around here for like 10 minutes and nothing. I came up against so many Pachirisu, which have the same chance of appearing as a Shellos. But no Shellos ever appeared. You may consider me annoyed. <laughs> I'll come back when I can surf or when I can fish or something and just get something out of the water. Maybe get a gold duck or something. Or a bar brooch. Ridiculous. Well, I guess the next thing to do is go to the gym. And it's forest badge, so I'm guessing that I'm going to want to be using flying type and bug type moves against it. So... Carl and Lamrid. You go front and center. I should have some berries. Yeah. Because there may be somebody in the gym who can poison my Pokemon. Let's see if I've got trainer items. 9 antidotes, 14 potion, 5 super potion, 2 burn heal. Alright. On to the Eterna City Gym. Of course, the big question is where is the Eterna City Gym? I have no idea where the Eterna City Gym is. That looks like a gym. Yeah, good. I have to find all the other gym leaders. How are they hidden? Because they don't they don't appear to actually be here at all. There's one. <clears throat> right. Cherry bee. Ah, it's adorable. I'm gonna rip its little face off. You ain't got no hope against Lamrid. I might put Carl in for a little bit to uh, just boost his experience a little bit. He's only level 17. Zelia. Well, there's someone who poisons you if I ever saw one. Don't give it a chance, Lamred. You know what I'd say? So far, so good. No problem. But we all remember what happened in the first gym. That stupid headbutting dinosaur thing made life very difficult. There we go. 
The only problem with Carl's bug type moves is that it takes a while to get up to power. You know, after a couple of turns, Fury Cutter becomes very powerful, but until then, I don't do an awful lot. See? Oh, hang on a second. I thought Bug was super effective against Grass. That's always what I thought. Although, Budgie's part bug, isn't it? No, Budgie's not type, not part bug. Alright. I always wondered about Fury Cutter. Does it keep its power between rounds? In the, uh, between opponents in the same fight? Yes, it does! Alright, so it's worth putting Carl in first and letting him get on a roll against the easy opponents. Then he can power through. Got it. In the middle of three trees. Well, this isn't getting annoying. There you are. Who lays out a gym like this? Turtwig. Oh, I miss my turtwig. <laughs> Look at his little paw. I miss Prunstel. I think that was super effective. You wouldn't think that was not very effective. It'd be nice if that crit once in a while. Aha! Like that, yeah. A crit. You remember what those are, don't you, Carl? Thing. Thing could be useful actually. But it's not very accurate, that's the problem. Might be more useful than Leech Life. Leech life is just too weak to really be effective against anything. Poof! Yay! Yeah, <laughs> I've got tons of it. Tons of skill. Beside four flowers. <laughs> giggle! It's always weird when people say giggle. Rosalia. Dare say the gym leader's probably got one of these. Probably has a turt wig as well. The other thing with Fury Cutter, it's got 20 power points. Aha, uh -huh, don't do that. Please don't poison me. Aha! Uh -huh. 
So you end up using it up quite a lot before you tear your way through people. <laughs> Mega drain. You're right. It's not very effective. Ooh, almost. Eh. See so you? Coming for you. But first we'll go heal up. And we'll see you back next episode.